Hello everybody, it's Arranged Karma here, and welcome to Call of Duty World War II, the open multiplayer beta. Now, I'm going to be honest, this game's okay, but it kind of sucks. So, uh, yeah. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba. Let's quickly mute all, push the talk, enabled. Settings, control, key bindings. What's the one to push the top? Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't tell you which one's the push the top though. Graphics, yeah, whatever. Audio, subtitles enabled. Uh, it keeps every time you press escape, it keeps putting you back to that bit, which is very annoying. Controls, um, key bindings. Ah, oh, there we go. Crouch, jump, hold, prone. Text chat. Wait, voice chat. Z. Okay. Right, so anyway, let's get into this. So first things first, we've got Fine Match, which is a bunch of Team Death Match, Domination, Hardpoint, Bort, and Mosh Pit. We've been playing some Bort in a moment, but... Essentially, this game allows you to pick divisions. So you get the Expeditionary Force, you get the Airborne, the Infantry, you get the Armoured, and the Mountain. Essentially, each of different things. The Expeditionary focuses on close-range combat with shotguns with a... Uh, Fiery shells. Airborne usually focuses on more stealthy tactics involving SMGs with it, and they are allowed to have that silencer on them. Infantry is the upfront main tank type of deal. They have access to rifles and uh, Panzer Shreks or rocket launchers. Well, just uh, to be clear, you can choose any type of weapon for any type of class, but some get better bonuses in them than others. Next up, the Armoured. They are the LMG guys. They are the support that fires uh, machine guns and stuff like that. And the Mountain are the snipers. Fuck them. Because I'm going to be honest and say the two most overpowered things in this game are snipers and shotguns. By far. Snipers pretty much insta-kill you anywhere they hit you, essentially. Which is a fucking bullshit. Anywhere in the chest, arms, or head, one hit from a sniper will kill you. So. I mean, I could have sent it from a fucking headshot, but like. A fucking chest shot, really? That's bullshit. Alright, here we go. So, War is essentially. Uh, objective based gameplay. It's a linear map with objectives that you must complete in order to progress or stop if you're on the defending team. Good old Axis versus Allies. Also, this game won't be a constant 60 FPS, I can guarantee you that. And also, it looked like shit. But that's not my fault. I just joined the game and the game made me put these graphic settings on. Right, so here we go. Our mission is to delay the enemy until reinforcements arrive and protect our flag guns. That battery will keep enemy bombers out of the skies. The sounds are on, let's go. Defend the command post and the classified intel it holds. Yeah. There's little orange things on them, these yellow things on the map of the building things that you can build to keep allied, uh, enemies out and machine guns and stuff. Soldier. That's a smoke grenade. Yeah, also, in case you didn't realize, using a silencer reduces your damage by quite a significant margin, which is very annoying. Because it's even more annoying because you'd think with a silencer you'd want to focus on getting behind the enemy, but in war, since the maps are so linear, you can't do that, which is so fucking bullshit. Don't let them overrun the command post. 
Got him. Oh yeah. He's starting to run out of ammo. They're taking the command post. Yeah, I might have a uh, perk on that allows me to uh, sprint and fire my gun at the same time. But, no. That seems kind of bullshit, but I guess, you know. Starting to get pushed back now because they're really about too close to taking it. Let's sit here and guard this area. Damn. Reinforcements will be here soon. Right, YOLO. They're taking the command post. Oh shit! See what I mean? Shotguns are kind of po are broken. Mm. I mean, I understand they kill you in close quarters, but like it's just one shot, and it just they just don't seem to aim when they kill you. I don't know. It just seems so bullshit. Right, let's build an MG. And this is probably the most unbalanced part of the map. I'm gonna be honest. Because it's essentially a, a, a turkey shoot. A See? They just have to build a bridge on this area. And like it's so open and exposed. The only thing you can really do is put smoke down and that's it. gotta go to that little box right there and build it and it's such a stupid idea like seriously I'm running out of ammo the enemy is building a bridge don't let the enemy build their bridge Oh. See what I mean? Just it's lethal, one shot anywhere above the waist. It's basically become an orb snipers, which is stupid. Because that's not really balanced in any way, you know. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. The bridge is half built. The bridge is being built. Right. Well, at least that exposed them, so. Might as well get up in there and, you know, stop them. The enemy is building a bridge. That bridge must not be. <sighs> Fucking snipers, man. They are busted. I'm gonna say it now. They need a nerf. The bridge is being built. Oops. Well, time to retreat. Yeah. The enemy built their bridge, but keep fighting. Reinforcements are on the way. Defend the ammunition supply. If it's destroyed, lose the ammo for our flag guns. <sighs> so now we're going to defend an ammo depot. We might as well build these walls. And we'll make Germany great again. Oh, 
Ugh. He's on the uh, tank machine gun up there. Good try, pal. Don't let them destroy the ammunition supply. Ah. Oh. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Now we got to disarm a bomb. I don't get where they get extra HP when they're on that turret. So now they got to escort the tank to a certain area. Well, it's our job to stop that. Here, drop incoming. Tank is retreating. Where did my teammate go? Their tank is pulling back. Flame for it. They destroyed one of our right. flat guns. machine guns built. The enemy tank is advancing. That machine gun is so annoying to deal with. The tank is on the move. I was the only one trying to push that tank back there. I mean, it auto retreats um, if there's nobody near it, but still. As you might imagine, with people near it, it retreats faster. Or at the very least, you can stop enemies from getting close to it. Yeah. Ah. 
shift. We have 30 seconds, and then we can push it when we win the round. <laughs> Come on, no overtime, no overtime. No! We are all enemies from the tank. Overtime at the bottom of the screen. No! Come on! So close! Yes! <laughs> that went up to 99%. Christ alive. I managed to get on the front of that tank at the nick of time. Very close. Too close for comfort, I might say. Alright, that's game one. Game two, we switch out. It's simple as that. Right. Our mission is to destroy a battery of AA guns that's shooting down our bombers. But we have to push through enemy territory and take out those guns before crowd reinforcements arrive. It's me. Alright, here we go. Capture that command post to get intel on crowd defenses. Place that. Oh. I think I got a returned grenade kill. Pretty sure. Well, the good thing about the command post is that the capture progress doesn't uh, decrease. So. Oh, I pressed tab. Oops. You press Q or V to melee for some reason, so. Right, we did it. We took the area. We captured the command post. The crowd intel is going to help win the war. Build a bridge to replace the one the crowd's destroyed. Then we can advance. This is this is this is this part is hell now. Expect to see a lot of deaths. Cause right now deaths don't really matter at this point. It's just a case of getting on there. See? And they get perfect vantage points to snipe at us. Because map design is too hard, right? See? Just just like and the team that just sits back here in camps doesn't cover you. At all. Is it glitched? It's 49% on my screen. See? Snipers are broken. I'm just gonna say that out now. They are just too powerful, honestly. One shot to the chest area should not kill you. In terms of game balance, it just doesn't work. Get 
Don't try that, pal. Right, we did it. That was actually pretty painless. Tank turret. It's pretty powerful, but at the same time makes you really exposed. And you can't move, so. So now we gotta get some ammo. Destroy it. Yeah, my thing on the left is glitched. Ow. Doesn't really matter if it's glitched. All I know is to just defend the bomb, so... Can they defuse it in time? Nope. We did it! Right, now we rally to the tank and we push. I hate that. I hate that. Why do you make snipers so powerful? It just ruins the game. See what I mean? Like, why would- why is snipers so, like... Powerful, it just makes every other class obsolete. He was behind me for some reason. Because, you know, I don't have a team. This is Call of Duty. We don't have a team. There is no such thing as team. Got him. Yeah, but that tank machine gun's pretty powerful. I mean, you die pretty much instantly, but you can try and at least get something. Smoke grenades are the aim of the game, kids. Wow, okay. Come on, just... Like, the team just doesn't do it. They just don't get on the tank at all. Like, I mean, like, where are they? <laughs> Christ! One job. Yeah! We did 
get it. Whew, that was a close one. We almost lost that. Just jumped in the turret and was like, cool. So yeah, this has been Call of Duty World War II. The open beta. Don't, don't, don't. I mean... I'm going to be honest and say it's not really worth it at all. I mean, it's just, it's just Call of Duty. It's just Call of Duty. But with, it, I'm, admittedly, it looks better, at least overall. Um, and... It's just bullshit right now, honestly. D don't. Just don't. It's it's not really worth it. I mean, I'm not... It's, yeah, just don't. Just, just don't. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.